okay so yes, so hi everyone today we'll be discussing the problem maximum factors problem from code chef's code drive competition that was conducted today so okay so i hope you have read the question what the question has asked for us so i'll just just moving on to the solution and this is an article that i will suggest you to read so this basically relates the number of divisors of n with the prime factorization you can just read this i'll add the link in the description but still just moving on to the question so this m is equals to n into k if you just write this m is equals to so write it in this format m into k m into k equals to n so i can say that what exactly is m m is n only but with the factor removed or you can say with the number removed so let's just say if i can represent n as n as uh, 2 cube uh, 3 raised to 5 uh, then 7 into 1 so if you remove a 3 that becomes 2 cube 3 4 3 raised to 4 7 raised to 1 so if you see this is n only but with one factor remove here i remove 3 but there's a possibility that you could remove 2 into 3 yes yeah, so there is a possibility so then this would have become 2 square 3 4 7 1 there's a possibility you could have done this because these all are divisors right this is the prime factor you can take 1 2 you can take 3 2 3 5 like 5 3s and 1 7 so i've taken 1 2 1 3 and 1 7 so then this would have become 7 0 so there are many possibilities of taking the divisors through the prime factorization of that number so now let's read this article suppose 144 is written as 2 raised to 4 into 3 square so it is pretty much obvious if you just do a little maths if a number can be written as 2 raised to n so let's so let's just say p1 raised to n p1 raised to n and p2 raised to m and p2 raised to m the number of divisors is basically n plus 1 n plus 1 into m plus 1 into m plus 1 you can just read the proof or like it would be pretty obvious from this what i've written over here that this m1 is actually added for a zero there is a possibility that you could have taken so that you can just read this so this plus one thing is basically okay so how should i explain this so let's just say you have two three two raised to three three raised to five and seven square cool so now there is a possibility that you could take zero so so now we are considering the divisors what all divisors we can take from the prime factorization so there is a possibility that you could take 2 raised to 0 like you are not like you are saying that i don't want to remove any of the twos from the n but i want to remove 1 3 and i want to remove 1 7 so if you looked at here closely there are four possibilities because 0 is also one of them so there are four possibilities of taking 0 there are again four like sorry six possibilities of taking 3 and two possibilities of taking seven because there's a zero we also have an option of zero option of zero that you don't want to consider any of the twos so yeah so that is why it is n plus one into m plus one for the whole complete proof you can also read this thing i'll just add the link in the description so now what you have to do is now so now after you have done this so now the main part okay so we want we want so now we know that to get m we have to remove something from n and that n we have these many possibilities so if i just ask you what you should remove so let's just okay so let's just open a new slide if i just ask you what you should remove let's just say it the number can be written as 2 raised to 8 uh, 3 raised to 5 and 7 raised to 2 so let's just say i'm removing 1 8 okay so now what are the number of divisors this number as it is 9 into 6 into 3 cool these are the number of divisors this element has now i can remove anything from this number it can be 2 into 3 3 into 7 2 into 3 into 7 2 into 3 into 3 into 7 there are many possibilities like i explained in the previous like the slide but you you don't want you want to maximize this part like if you remove a 2 the product would then become 8 into 6 into 3 so what i'm so, so what is m exactly m is n n by k n by k and what this and what this k is doing is basically it is 
subtracting these by some like if you say your k is let's just say 6 okay so it is making this thing as 7 you have taken 1 2 and this is making this thing as 4 so if you look closely what is optimal is you don't want to decrease these things you don't want to decrease them so what you will be doing is you will you will be taking the maximum of them like the one who has the maximum value you don't want to decrease these right you would take the one which has the maximum value and you will just say okay you have the maximum if i reduce just one of you like you are saying that eight like the current is nine into six into three you are saying that you have you, there are nine variations of you possible it is two raised to eight so nine so you're saying that okay i can remove one of you then it would become eight into six into three eight into six into three and you're saying that this won't matter actually much cool so that's what you have to do you have to save the device you have to save the prime factorization of n in this format 8 comma 2 then you have to save it in the form of 5 comma 3 what is this 5 5 is this power and 3 is this number and then what you could do is you'll be saving uh, okay so then you'll be saving uh, 2 comma 7 so let's just first understand why it is optimal to remove this so so let's just say i'm removing this i'm making this two so now what we have is nine six and two okay nine six and two if you remove one nine it would become eight six two that is eight six forty eight into two ninety six okay that's ninety six but now if you remove this two it is nine into six into one which is uh 96 is 54 it is just 54 so obviously you have if you remove the low if you just reduce the smaller one it will become 54 and if you reduce the greatest one it will it's giving you 96 why this is happening because the smaller one is actually just doubling up this whole thing and you don't want that to be reduced it is just doubling up this whole thing like we have sorted this right this is 8 this is 6 this is 2 what is this 2 doing it is just doubling up the whole product of the higher numbers so you why so why would you want to reduce this instead you can reduce this because this is much less effect when and you just saw the contradiction proof over here it's obviously beneficial to reduce the smaller one like sorry the greatest one the one prime factor which is occurring the greatest number of times so yeah i hope uh I was able to make you understand this thing clearly so yeah the, all you have to do is you have to store the prime factorization of n in this format then you have to sort it such that you will get the maximum of this and let's just suppose there are two numbers okay so let's just say you have two number that is two raised sorry two raised to eight and also three raised to eight so what you would do is you would remove two because the question they have said that you want the k to be smaller you want the smallest k so if you have two options so and we had over here five comma one so you know that you have to remove the one with the highest power it's either two or three you are the smallest k you have done two so yeah so let's just move to the code okay so that's all i did basically you have to run a normal this is the prime factorization one part where i have stored pair ll comma v that is the count comma i as i told over here you want you want 8 comma 2 8 comma 3 1 comma 5 and then i've sorted using a custom sort sort one which is if the count is same then i want the k to be smaller and if the count is different then just the greater k so i got that if v dot size 0 basically the number was given prime so you have no option other than taking n because one is not allowed that is you can't take k as one and then yeah just simply the first number you have because i've sorted this in a decreasing order of count decreasing order of count so you will have the highest the one which has the highest power at zeroth position and if there's two and three you will be having two why we'll be having two because over here i've written this part yeah and then just simply return v of zero dot second that is it so yeah thank you